corrupt my dancing or I'll explode I feel like dirty dancing tonight Till I had a time of my life Chill, vices, all that's on my mind Until I lose control here to be great please take your place all queens gotta seat at my table cause without y'all then the man ain't able melanated queen connected to the universe and so i gotta thank my mom for my birth if hate is the curse then love is the remedy so i send you love no matter creed or identity until infinity look at you like you kin to me even when we disagree yo you still kin to me in other words, I can't bring you no trouble, can't bring you no beef, don't wanna see you deceased. Now if I'm coming at you, I'm coming with a business plan. Cause every day I'm on some, yo, let's get this money, man. Yeah, and that's my real plans. I rest my head at night, I wake up, I got another plan. Just 
tell me why we don't get money together But we'll kill each other over whatever Running down the freeway, we gonna own down If black lives matter, why we gonna own down? That's why they laugh and they think that we clowns They hear what we say, but see how we get down We gotta change that now, right now to be exact Cause hurting that man's moms is not where we're sat now Old school, new school, need to learn, yo They put us in groups so they can make more dough The young versus the old, the old versus the young Black versus white, you see the pattern, right? No unity, keep them all on some gutter-ish This way they don't prosper and get rich Yo, can't you see it's a trick? Just open your third eye and you'll see the full view of it Now yo, what if the powers that be Know that the real power lies within the people That's us And what if they use using things like crayon colors Black and white to separate the people Hey yo, you gotta wake up don't let them fool y'all. Spread love. Good morning. It's another day, my friend. But soon the sunshine turns the moonlight. Life goes on, 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 on. You take some time to say goodnight. You close your eyes to dream next thing to my Good morning. It's another I see there's a bunch of y'all in here. Let's get ready to go, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we go. We should be good. We should be all good here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Looking all crispy and clean on the screen. Yeah, how's everybody doing, man? Hopefully y'all are doing well. It's Wednesday. Hump day up in here. You know what time it is. Hey, yo. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. We got a lot to get into today, so we're going to get the show started. Man, welcome to another YouTube live stream and another episode of the Music Morning Show. I'm your host, Classy Beats of ClassyBeats.com, and today we're going to be reviewing your music. We might do some live mixing and mastering in BandLab, and we've got an interesting topic we're going to cover today amidst all of the drama that's going on with Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar and Drake. It looks like a couple artists are trying to get some of the shine off of this whole <laughs> AI conversation. Who's the greatest? And y'all saw the title. We're going to talk about Lupe Fiasco today. Now, he does have a little bit of a history with Kendrick. So keep that in mind as we go through our topic. But it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, let me go ahead and say what's up to everybody who's in here first. Let me see. Over on BandLab, we've got Moses is in here. MJ is in the building. Look, who else? Who else? Who else? Young Steppers up in here. We got Hollywood Co. DJ Snoofu, I see you. Italo Calvino's in the building. He said, uh, he said he did. He said he dirty dancing in his new Nikes. <laughs> Who are you talking about? What drum is in here? He must be on a break. Oh yeah, he said just a little break before teaching some more. Shout out to all the teachers out there. Y'all give him a round of applause. Six Lenses is in here too, says, you know my stance. I'm just here for the fun. Appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by, Six Lenses. Casper Clark is up in here too. Divine Feminine decided to stop by. Okay, early in the morning. Good to see you. Who else? I know I missed a couple people. DJ Snoofu, I see you. He tell us that, what up, what up, what up? What's Attack is in here. He said, hey, Classy, which makes more sense to do? An artist dropping a mu uh, music video every two weeks or every three weeks uh, music video every two weeks or every three weeks man I would have to know a little bit more about your situation I think it just depends on what you're doing in between time and leading up to that honestly there really is no best way to do it it's all based off of what you can produce consistency consistently so if you're just gonna drop a music video and and be like oh I hope this is the one uh, that's not gonna work 
So as y'all seen, I mean, we're talking about Kendrick Lamar versus Drake. Kendrick Lamar, he doesn't drop that often. He doesn't even put out content that often. And because of his talent and because of his ability, people still have him up there with an artist like Drake who drops like crazy. Now, obviously that's the extreme because both of these guys have machine and labels behind them, but you get the idea. It's all based off of what you personally have planned leading up to the release, when the release drops, and what you're gonna do in the in-between time. And I think that's something that's really important and a lot of artists miss out on too. So, and I try to model that here and give you guys some examples of ways you can do that. What I would do, West Attack, is go back and watch some of the videos where we're on my YouTube channel where we are reviewing release strategies. I looked at a couple of interviews that Nick D has done. He's one of the best independent content creators out there when it comes to releasing music, explaining how he does his process. And he really has a, a play by play of things you can do to keep people interested and to help get them prepared for your upcoming releases. So it's a long answer to say uh, <laughs> it depends. All right. Shout out to you, though. That's a great question. It all depends. Lifestyle did it in here, my dog. What's up, man? He said tapped in. Good morning. Good to see you in here, brother. Margo the Prophet says, do you see the producer that came out and said he made a Kendrick diss track? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. I want to give it a little bit more time to progress. But yes, I did see the producer. I reviewed the video. It's an interesting thing, Marco, because I went and I did some research and it's looking like he's actually been using that producer. And shout out to him has been using AI to uh, make music for well over a year now. So he's definitely experienced with using AI to create music. But at the same time, I don't know if this is a if this is a ploy or if he actually made it. It's it's hard to tell in these days. It's really hard to tell. And I think it's an interesting place we're at right now. This is just the beginning. AI technology is just getting started. This is the worst the technology is going to be. Y'all think about that for a second. This is the the worst that AI is going to be. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Italic Avino says, damn, here we go again, Chirac. I know Lupe Fiasco too. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your boys out here taking shots, man. It's going to be interesting. Uh, they call themselves first and 15th. Can't wait to hear what's going on now. Yeah, shout out to Italic for stopping by. We're going to get into it here shortly. So make sure you stay tuned. Divine Duality is in here too. We've got both of the Divines, Divine Feminine and Divine Duality. CG Beats, my boy, is in the building. Y'all make sure you go check out CG Beats and Lifestyle Did It, two of the best in the game. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Uh, let's see. Divine Feminine says, come on now. They're going to replace us with bots. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't see it being replaced. AI is a great tool. And man, I want to save this for tomorrow. We're going to talk about it tomorrow, but you guys can really be using AI to um, as a tool, not only for creating content, but for moving yourself forward, for getting your music in front of more people. I mean, think about it. A lot of there's a lot of artists on TikTok who did duets, right? And they duet it with a certain artist. I, I can think of a duet that Russ put out there on TikTok. A certain artist collaborated on it on it with her with him, and she ended up going on tour with Russ. So there's a lot of different ways that you could use everything that's going on with AI to move yourself forward, whether that be creating a track and you use AI to make the hook for the track. You post it as a collaboration with Kanye or with Beyonce. And then you're actually singing on the track. So not only will people hear that, and even if you put it out there and say, hey, this is an AI track, they'll actually hear you with a Beyonce. And who knows, it could go viral. It could get more people towards your music. So everything you have to look at, how can I use this as a tool? So yeah, AI is... There's a lot going on that we really, in my opinion, there's not much we can do about it. But there are certain ways you can use it in your music career to help move yourself forward. So it's uh, it's definitely an interesting time that we live in though. Shout out to Divine Feminine. We've got SH because I'm going to mess up your name. Appreciate you being here, man. Shout out to 
620J is up in here too. Good to see you. Shame is over on Band Lab 2. Who else we got? Underdog is in here. Mr. Tesla is in the building. He's double dipping watching on YouTube and Band Lab. Uh, a couple more shout outs and then we'll get into our topic. Six Lenses says, I only like his first album, Food and Liquor. Oh, he must be talking about Lupe. Um, <clears throat> DJ Snoofu said, I will say it again. AI is scary and we don't need that ish. Oh, man. Come on now. It's definitely, it's definitely scary. I won't say scary. It's definitely alarming, I think is the word. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's alarming. But if you guys go back and look through history, not that I want to downplay this because I think AR is really some, some next level stuff. But you look, when you look at cell phones first came out, when you look at personal computers when they first came out the internet people were like oh this is crazy you know even when cars came out man they thought uh, cars were demonic <laughs> so, i think ai is a little bit different because it can do so much but i still think we're a long way away from being replaced so y'all relax we're gonna be there um uh, hollywood coast says kick push kick push coast yeah, I was listening to that earlier. Shout out to Lupe Fiasco, man. Um, DJ Snoofu says AI is unholy. Mark of the Prophet says after listening to High Whitney several times, I think it might be real. Oh man. Yeah, it's it's tough, Marco. It's tough because this is a conversation I've been having with people in the in the in the chat and the some of these videos i've been dropping which by the way y'all check it out over on the classy beast youtube channel i dropped both of these oh y'all can't see it i dropped both tracks the kendrick track and the drake track and if you look both of these are actually going viral on the classy beast youtube channel hi whitney is over there and then we've got the kendrick lamar uno k dot is up there too so Shout out to everybody who supported that one, everyone who showed love, because we're going crazy over there. But it's interesting that you say it's real. It, it sounds real. Because... Because some of these AI tools, they can generate lyrics, they can generate the music, they can generate the voice themselves, right? But if you really want to, if you really want to get a good outcome when it comes to using AI, you actually have to physically record something. So you have to mimic the artist. You have to make it sound like the artist, try and get the same vocal pitch and tone. And then you take those vocals that you recorded and input it into the AI software. So you still have to write it. You still have to perform it. You still have to record it in most cases to get the best outcome, or at least an outcome that sounds more realistic, just because the AI tools, as far as we know, aren't there yet. So with you saying it might be real, I think it's 100% real. And that's pretty, that's pretty evident listening to it. It's just, I think the question that people aren't asking enough is who released it? Who released it? Who wrote it? Who's promoting it? Because it's getting promoted. Obviously I'm promoting it here because we're talking about it. But I found it funny that when DJ Academics said that Drake reached out to him and he said it's AI. Um, just because Drake says it's AI, it doesn't mean that it's not a real person that wrote it and recorded it. So Drake could have somebody record it. He could have recorded it and written it himself and then ran it through an AI and put it out there just for fun. I mean, there's so the the possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. So I mean, I wouldn't. At this point, I wouldn't put anything past what AI is capable of, man. But Mark of the Prophet said, hard to tell with that one, though. I agree. Free Freeze in here. He said, Classy, what's up? Yo, Jimmy Cricket looking at... Oh, come on, man. Dang. I tried today, man. I tried to get trimmed up. Six Lenses says, I'm sure they said the same thing about five beat machines over real instrument trick. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And they're still saying it today. In the producer community. Oh, you're not a producer. You're a, a beat maker. What? All right. That's fine. Whatever. I mean, there's still, it still takes some level of skill. Maybe not the level of skill it takes to 
be able to play an instrument and be in the studio with an artist and actually vibe off of what the energy is in the studio but it still takes a level of skill but yeah they're still in the producer community this conversation has been going on for years at this point uh italo said the bots might be the feds oh no uh he said the bots uh be what the bots be what you call that ninja watching yeah there's a lot of bots in ninja watching for sure who else is over there Bizo beats is in the building too shout out to Bizo beats mj says you got my link classy yes i did divine feminine said i think there's bots among us there are absolutely bots among us and then we've got glow watching over on um over on song of the night lot or i'm sorry the music morning show vertical edition he said you heard the drake response it's all taken down now nah, it's still up on my channel i just showed you guys which one are you talking about hi whitney or push-ups i'm dropping give me 50 because they're both up on my channel i don't know where they're getting taken down from <clears throat> but you can see the uh drop and give me 50 is there and then y'all can't see it but hi whitney is still over there too but also i mean it's just it depends on where it's being taken down from because rick ross officially released champagne moments and it's still up on my youtube channel so it just it all depends on on how you do it so i don't think that's a determining factor for me until kendrick until drake until rick Ross, which he which he did until they come out and they say hey this is me i'm dropping it you can find it on all streaming platforms the official release then uh, we don't know for sure uh, wow we've already i've been over here talking for 20 minutes i appreciate y'all interacting in the chat though thank y'all for making this show fun all right let's get to these announcements and then we're gonna get into our topic and then we'll do some music reviews once we're done um, I don't have to leave the live stream early today, so we should be able to get a good bit of y'all in there. Uh, first of all, if you're new to the show and you want to know how to submit your music, it's easy to do. If you're watching on BandLab, you can drop your links in the live chat. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're watching on any other platform, the link is in the description. Y'all can send in as many songs as you want to, and I'm going to try and get to everybody today. All right, here we go. First up, y'all know what time it is tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We've got another episode of the Song of the Night Live. We're going to be giving away $100 and the Shure 55SH microphone. All right, so if y'all want a chance to win, make sure you tune in tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern T Standard Time. It's going to be a good time. We're giving away two door prizes as well, and we are kicking off this show with our next Versus Challenge, and this Versus Challenge is special because we've got five artists in this challenge. We've got Lily, we've got Mandy X, we've got Jayton, We've got Dizzy Days, and then the fourth one is Mosif. Uh, fifth one is Mosif. So it's going to be an interesting, uh, a definitely an interesting versus challenge tonight. Y'all want to tune in for that. Tomorrow, we talked about a little bit yesterday over on the Band Lab Engineer channel. Make sure y'all go and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm going to be live streaming and doing a full mix and master of a song for um, Triple C. I think I've got it saved over there. We're doing a song for Triple C tomorrow. It's going to be early. It's at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. So if y'all can catch it, that would be dope. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over there. And if not, you can go and watch the replay later. Last but not least, I mentioned this, but this is something I'm super proud of and excited about because we broke the news on a couple of these. But we had two videos go viral over on the Classy Beast YouTube channel. That High Whitney track. I posted the full version and then we've got the Uno K dot. We'll find out if they're real or not eventually, but that's dope. We've got a couple of exclusive videos we dropped for the members too. We're actually going to be talking about this one tomorrow. Um, this one's interesting because it looks like, and this is exclusive only on the member side that y'all can hear this. It looks like there might be a Kendrick response out there floating around in the internet so if y'all want to hear the kendrick response you can go over and check it out on the member side of the classy beast youtube channel it's dope man some of the lyrics on there woo! if you're a member and you've listened to this already let me know in the chat drop a one in the chat for me and let me know y'all heard it i know a couple of y'all commented on it smoking the one 
was over there listening to it too um there's a couple of cg beats listen to it as well um <laughs> shout out to i am drakes hey yo <laughs> i see you over there all right let me read a couple more uh let me read a couple more comments and we're gonna keep it moving casper clark said that's a hell of a mic you giving away e yeah and we're giving away every single night if y'all haven't seen the hold on a second let me grab the microphone because I use it to record too. So in case, in case y'all don't know what the Shure 55 SH is, it's this microphone. Y'all have seen it in a lot of the uh, on the block freestyles. A uh, couple of video popular videos. I think Connor Price uses this in a lot of his TikTok videos. But this microphone is amazing. It's heavy duty, has a great, nice, warm sound to it. It's easy to record with, and it's dope if you have a if you have a setup uh, that you record on. It's super easy to use, and even either way, even if you don't, I mean, it's pretty easy to to hold and handle. So we're giving we're giving these away every single night on the Song of the Night Live. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on the Classy Beats YouTube channel. If y'all want a chance to win, make sure you tune in tonight, all right? to it all right here we go what else are y'all saying and then let's get into our topic today shout out to ivy over there on band lab who else do we have in here uh who else who else did i miss mr tesla says i got something i'm working on it's not finished yet but i'll send it okay sh says when are we reviewing music my g so we'll review the music once we get through get finished with our topic today so probably here in the next well, 10 20 minutes or so we'll get into the music reviews i'd say around 12 15. um who else do we have in here italo calvino says i just shared this video appreciate you man divine feminine says i need this in my life she wants that microphone yeah make sure y'all send in tk is up in here too divine duality says nothing to fear but fear itself i ain't scared of these bots uh these ais can suck a bad <laughs> Yo. okay 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 tk says i use the mk4 mic i haven't seen that one young step said all these ai songs going crazy yeah absolutely italo says i want to shore mic before too yeah yeah we've given away microphones a couple of times i'm glad we get to bring back the mic giveaways though because i know a lot of y'all need some new microphones um let me see let me do this all right, and we'll go ahead and get into our topic today. <laughs> Young Steppa said, I'm going to make a Steppa AI song. Yeah, if I could get access to some of that high-end AI software, I could definitely use it. But I've, if y'all want to see what it looks like if you were to use AI, you can. there's several videos on my channel to where I posted examples of what it looks like to use AI music creation the different kinds of AI music software that's out there. And there's actually a new one that came out recently that's supposed to be better than even the one that we use, which was Suno. So we're going to talk about that maybe on Friday or Monday. It depends on if we get any more news about Drake because Drake and Kendrick are a hot topic right now. All right, let's go ahead and get into our topic for today. So to start the show, we're going to have a little bit of a uh, <laughs> comic relief this morning. Oh, thank you, Young Steppa. He said, bless you. Um, we're we got a little bit of comic relief this morning. So as y'all know, Rick Ross and Drake have been going at it for the past few days, especially once Rick Ross uh, moved himself to the forefront of this conversation between Drake 
and Kendrick. I don't know if Rick Ross thinks he wants to be in the top three or what, which uh, amazing rapper, but I don't think anybody's putting them in the in the big three right now. Either way, Drake and Rick Ross have been going back and forth. And it's been absolutely hilarious, man. I love that they're doing this. It's fun to talk about. It's fun to see the back and forth. I don't think anyone's taking it too personal at this point, but it's all a part of the game nonetheless. So after Rick Ross posted a couple things, which we talked about yesterday, Drake had this to say in response to some of the allegations Rick Ross was putting out there. So Drake posted this on the story. He said, look how I talked to this turkey. Uh, you should you should have just asked for another feature. Ooh. That's tough. That's tough. I saw somebody was saying all all five of Rick Ross's top hits are by Drake. I have Drake on them. Dang. That's going to be tough to argue against. But what is he, what does Drake say here? He says, imagine you have an 88 million to spend on a crib. Your ish uh, be steals. Like you got him from a police auction. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Drake, you can't clown the man for maybe taking advantage of some foreclosures or short sales. All right. It happens all the time. It's smart. He said, Your Star Island house is the sliver of cheesecake. Oh my God. Uh, your lot is 40,000 square feet. My crib is, <laughs> my crib is 40,000 square feet. Letter pulling out the government names and you put a wrap on your time and you put a wrap on your timeshare jet that is just coming off when it's <laughs> the other people turn to fly. Oh man. You Brett bearish, uh, you Brett bearish worker. I don't know who that is. So I'm going to miss this. I'm not going to get this part. Uh, worker, how many cases you got to, how many cases you got to move before you got to check finally. Uh, it's just probably took a lifetime to see some real bread. You're Brett's son now. Uh, you're not Rose anymore. God damn. <laughs> All right. So then Drake, he goes on to post a picture. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. He goes on to post a picture of uh, aerial view of Rick Ross's house. Now, I'm not going to lie. This looks kind of wild. He said, Rick, you sound... <laughs> You sandwiched in. He said, Rick, you sandwiched in, which is on brand. Because the vacant lot is not yours. He's talking about a sandwich. You see what he did there? Oh, man. That's hilarious. He said, this ish is the Miami starter pack. You living in a content creator's crib. God dang. Come on, Drake, man. You didn't. So obviously Rick Ross, he's doing the businessman thing. And I, I think it's great that he's doing this, putting himself at the forefront. I'm sure I would be interested to see if his streams went up on Spotify since he started this beef, beef with Drake, because I'm sure more people are checking out his music, more people are listening to him. And it's just, it's fun and entertaining to watch, honestly. But y'all listen to some of Rick Ross's response because I'm not going to lie. It's starting to look a little weak. If you ask me, uh, he's, just, he's trying though. And check this one out. I'm feeling like the bigger person. I'm the bigger person. I'm a boss. Drake, I'm going to give you an opportunity to apologize. Oh man. First and foremost, you got to admit, confess. You got your nose, man. Listen, nobody cares about the nose thing. All right. Say it, say it drops today that drake got a nose job there's so many even if he did get a nose job there's so many ways you could explain that away people get their nose done all the time especially if you have trouble breathing or if you have trouble sleeping you have a deviated septum that's come on man this is getting we got to find something else your nose reduction and confess you got a bbl and i understand i know what it's like having those flaps on your stomach Divine Feminist said he definitely is the bigger person. <laughs> oh, you didn't have to do him like that. Did I say I said it right? I said deviated septum, right? Yeah, here we go. Can that sweat being under there? You ain't want to do that. 
You wanted to just fuck a gym, nigga. You, you drizzy, you BBL, nigga. You could go get it done. <laughs> and you did it. Just confess. Confess. I know you're not going to respond. And this it's, pace is boring me. You, it's moving too slow. When I came in the game, you had to move fast. Drop a freestyle, freestyle Fridays. Now this shit's social media. I can't do it. You <laughs> he said, now it's social media. I can't do it. This is the interesting thing I want to bring up, too. A lot of these OGs, they're not going to make it, man. They're not going to make it. Rick Ross is trying, and he really, I wish he had some more of a PR team on his side because we're really in, as y'all know, the social media age, and a lot of the way you're viewed is based on the court of public opinion. It's based on what people think. It's based on what they see the most. It's based on what other people say about what they're seeing. And Rick Ross, he's really, he's really struggling to keep up in this case because Drake is just dropping hits and hits and hits. In this, in this instance specifically, it's looking like Rick Ross is just grasping for straws because Drake knows and understands how to play the social media game. All that street stuff, it doesn't, it doesn't really apply when you're putting this out on social media. You got your minions. What's the other white boy name? Pin 1090. He looked like a fucking wet little <laughs> whale flapping. Shut up. Get mind your business, PN. Man. Oh, man. Apologize. It's crazy. I'm feeling like the bigger person. I'm Yo, the bigger that was funny. The my duality said he's a bigger person. That's crazy. That's crazy. Here white boy, white boy, BBL Drizzy. I got a question. I saw you posted you got more money than Ricky Rose. And let's assume you did. Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went into foreclosure five years ago. You done watched that man struggle them five years and ain't get that man a mansion. Yeah, this is... I said this the other day. Like, come on. Come on, Ross. You could do better than that. That has nothing to do with Drake. Birdman is a grown man. We all know how... YMCMB did their deals in that Birdman has eight off of Nick, Drake, Lil Wayne. Come, come on. Come on. He's got to do better than that. That's not. Because if you got more money than Rose, what's another 50 million, white boy? White boy, it's one for. And then at the same time, you're spending another guy's money. Like, that's weird. You're out here spending another dude's money saying you got to take care of somebody that you've already broken bread with. And you got to save him somehow, even if it is true. This is just uh, ah. 40 on Indian Creek. It's one for 50 on Star Island. You got 48 hours, white boy. If you got Ricky Rose money, ain't none of my niggas winning foreclosure. Come on, white boy. I'm finna bust a bottle. White boy, don't do stunner like that. Come, Come on, on, Ross. Man. You got you can do better what than that. To that? So he's standing on nose jobs and <laughs> you got to get Birdman a mansion. It's not, not it feeling it. The countdown is begun. Hey, no, this shit is really funny. He's still going I'm going to tell y'all, it's like battling against nerds. It's like sitting in a class. Oh, uh, y'all listen to this. <laughs> y'all listen to this because Rick Ross, he's starting to get it. He's starting to see what type of war this really is when it, when it comes to him and Drake specifically and this social media war, it's a totally different animal. Listen, White boy, listen to this. Hey, no, this shit is really funny. Cause I'm going to tell you, I was like battling against nerds. It's like sitting in a class and you watching all the nerds put together their best science project to present to the class. Yeah. But the nerds were getting the best grades though. The nerds were out there winning when it came to school. Yes. Man, y'all can have that shit. I ain't with that shit. Oh, Nigga, see, you know come on, Roz, man. Is he folding? Oh! It's, it sounds like, it sounds like he's starting to realize he's taking the L. Maybe seeing some of the comments, maybe hearing some of the shows. Maybe he's watching this show. Shout out to Rose, man. We got to give him a round of applause. We love you, Rose, but... Yeah, this wasn't the battle you wanted to pick, man. Nose fake, your stomach fake. You don't write raps. Your biggest homies in foreclosure. Come on, man. 
Go buy all them niggas that's living with each other a big mansion and put the, the, the BBL Drizzy logo on the gates. Man, feed them niggas, man. Come on, man. Let's do that Dude. shit, man. And y'all need to pray for Drake and tell him, park that old ass plane. It's a 1978. The cargo jet people gave it to him free for promo. And I ain't hating, but be safe, my nigga. He said, I ain't hating. Yeah, that plane's nice too. Have y'all seen pictures of the inside of that plane? Both of them have nice planes. <sighs> Crazy. Something was to happen to you and I couldn't tell you this. Be safe. And anybody getting on it, be safe, man. Wear your seat belts and make sure the oxygen things in there because that shit was just for luggage. Yo, is this Loki a threat? <laughs> This is weird. Ross, what are you doing, man? I don't know. Y'all have to tell me what you think. <laughs> Divine do well. The Divines are going in today. She said Rick Ross bought a plane, so he ain't got to pay for two seats. Oh! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> God dang. Man. That sounds like a low key threat, though. Ah, uh, listen. If I'm beefing with somebody and they say, hey, man, I know you're driving a 19, a 1990, I don't know. Chevy Suburban. Hey, just be careful, man. I know you got your kids in there. You got your wife in there. You know, if something were to happen, I just want you to be careful. I would be like, oh, hell no. That, that, ah, I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. It wasn't for human beings. Now. He's still going. <laughs> the car show tickets. Y'all know they damn near sold out. Y'all know that. RickRossCarshow.com. Shout out to Rick Ross, man. June 1st. It's the Car Coachella. It is the Car Coachella. Huge performances. Nothing but the best whips from Cali all the way down to the motherfucking, of course, Miami, Fayetteville from up north <laughs> all the way. And I'm going to try to get some of my homies from Canada. Hey, this is what I love this part, man. He is using all of he's using all of this publicity that he's getting to promote his stuff. This is exactly what this is exactly what you should do. If anything like this happens, man, just tell people go check out your stuff and they're gonna go check it out. All right, shout out to what, the car this show. It's a perfect opportunity for y'all to see the type of nigga white boy he is. Soon as that pressure on going. white boy, he gonna go post stunner. Stun in that twenty dollar jogging suit. No, the man needs some paper and make him say, "I got your back." He don't want to say that to that mark. Nigga ain't got that mark back there. He's still. Going. Hey, I need you to play that. What happened to that crib? What happened to that crib? Now, this is crazy. No, no, ain't nothing wrong with talking shit, but Drake, you got to keep it at one line. Oh, not the that shirt shit off. You're doing got to take twenty minutes. One line. Not the white the boy, shirt white off. boy, Drizzy. I got a question. No, 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 no. I know why Drake don't do what I do when I talk and he don't talk. He'll take a picture and post because he got ghostwriters for his fucking captions. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, that's crazy. He's got ghostwriters for his captions. Uh, even if he does, this is the thing. Rick Ross isn't getting, even if he does, it doesn't matter. If his, if his comebacks are better, if he talks about <laughs> this, my, uh, the Miami starter pack, you're living in the Miami starter pack. You're living in a content creator club or content oh! creator house. That's all that matters, man. I got one more question for BBL Drizzy. One more question. <laughs> How long you going to stay BBL on that Drizzy. plane? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's a 1978 cargo plane wasn't built for humans. It's dangerous. Yeah, see, this is this is weird, man. That's the second time he's talking about the plane. I would. 
I would get rid of that plane immediately. I would never get on that plane again. Imagine a white boy with the soul plane. God! Imagine a white boy with the soul plane. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. How that boy Carson not do? <laughs> hey, no. Let's pray for Drake. Soul plane. Come on, man. You rich. You deserve better. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting on that plane ever again. After that, the, the plane's got to go, Drake. I'm sorry. Uh, mm -mm. He mentioned it twice. I think he mentioned it three times. Something's something's going on there. It's weird. Either way. All right. That's our <laughs> that's our drama that's going on with Rick Ross and Drake. Y'all got to let me know in the chat who's winning this one. Y'all got Drake. Is Drake winning? Is Rick Ross winning? Ah, it's crazy. Uh, L.A. Woods up in here, too. Shout out to L.A. Wood. We got Louis V in the building, too. What's up? What's up? Um, Divine Duality is over there talking in the chat, too. Yeah, Scandalous Bones knows what's up. Yeah, that plane, that plane's gone after this one. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all let me know in the chat. All right, let's get into this about Lupe Fiasco. Shout out to Hip Hop DX. They've got a dope little article on this that they pretty much sum up everything that was said, everything that's going on with Lupe Fiasco. It's looking like Lupe Fiasco is taking some shots at Kendrick Lamar, though. Now, we know they have a little bit of a history, and we're going to get into that in a minute. But let's see exactly what he said. Lupe Fiasco dropped by a Twitter spaces during one of the uh, lives that they were doing there. And he had some comments on the whole Drake Kendrick beef and where he ranks Kendrick when it comes to great rappers. All right. So y'all check this out. <clears throat> Hip hop DX says Lupe Fiasco claims Drake is a better rapper than Kendrick. Uh oh. oh! What do y'all think about that? It's crazy. Lupe Fiasco has made a bold claim amid the ongoing wars and said that Drake is a better rapper than Kendrick Lamar. Speaking on X Spaces with Averb on Monday, April 15th, the Chicago native admitted he has not heard Kendrick's diss verse on Future and Metro's Like That, but has listened to and enjoyed Drizzy's response track, Push Ups, Drop and Give Me 50. Okay, so right here, you can already hear that he's a little biased, including everything that he said in the past about Kendrick. Either way, when asked who is the better rapper between the two, Lupe replied without a hesitation, Drake. Uh-oh. Looks like Drake has got somebody else on his side. Shout out to Lupe Fiasco. Verb then asked if Lupe thinks the Six God is a better rapper by a long shot, to which he replied, not really. Drake got bars, so I would give it to Drake. Wow. Wow. He added, talking about Lupe, I think Kendrick's better technically skilled, Kendrick's a better technically skilled performer, but I don't think he's a better rapper. The food and liquor MC also said he doesn't view K-Dot as a dangerous rapper when it comes to carving up opponents with his rhymes. God dang! <laughs> These are some strong words, man. I don't know about that one. Uh, we're going to listen to the audio of it here in a second. Uh, also, it says elsewhere during the X spaces, Lupe Fiasco offered a more detailed evaluation of Kendrick Lamar saying, I think he's a greater performer. I think he's a great rapper. I think he makes great albums. I think he's a great conceptualist. I think he's a great mind. I think what he does for the culture is amazing. I love him to death. I do not think that he's an amazing lyricist though. Wow. Hey, hey, if that's what you think, man, we got to respect Lupe's opinion. I don't know. Maybe we don't. Y'all <laughs> y'all could decide and let me know. And if I had to put a top 100 list together, the first 60 slots would be ninjas that ain't in the mainstream that ninjas don't even know. I can agree to that. That's one of the reasons I created this community is to give a place for more independent artists to get out there. And y'all know we've got a lot of amazing independent artists in this community alone. So I can definitely get behind that, get behind that statement. Uh, it ain't finna be ninjas with record deals. Yep. 
it's going to be all these battle rap ninjas when it comes to lyrics. I mean, he's making some good points. He also pointed out that he doesn't know Kendrick personally and has only met him like one time. The kick push rhymer also criticized J. Cole for his seven minute drill diss song against Kendrick, particularly how he attempted to drag his discography. <sighs> Man, with diss tracks, there, I, you, you can't, there's anything goes man it was a diss track he attacked his discography i said this before what's he gonna attack i mean his his braids his height his family i mean those things might even be seen as more out of bounds in the discography when you're dissing another artist the only thing you have to attack is their music so this is to me is just i don't know it's kind of dumb <laughs> they said the kick push rhymer yeah uh, kendrick did so Kendrick did so much for the me mentality. Okay. Did so much for the mentality of young black culture that to hear J. Cole talking about to pimp a butterfly ain't ish. Damn ain't ish. And he's looking at what those albums actually mean. Oh, I'm sorry. And he's looking at what those albums actually mean to the people. He said, he's doing some white, <laughs> white folks, KKK. Make them eat their own ish. Nah, come on, man. I disagree. You would never hear me talking down on his albums. What else are you going to talk down on? I don't, maybe I just don't get it. I don't know. Lupe previously stirred controversy in 2018 when he claimed that Kendrick Lamar is not a top tier lyricist and his control verse was super overhyped. Yep, which he talks about in the audio we're going to review here in a second. He later ap appeared... Apo he later appeared, apologized for his comment, saying, maybe I should just, I should have just left it alone. Even though my impetus was the control verse, I apologize for even engaging and talking about Ninja's career. Mm, I'll never do that ish again. <laughs> I guess guys are sensitive. I don't get it, man. I'm not going to take it personally if it were me. After his apology resurfaced in the wake of Joel's recent controversy, Olive Branch to Kendrick, Lupe set the record straight on his own reaction relax yo i wasn't apologizing to him <laughs> he, he wrote in a sense deleted tweet i was sorry about the entire the entire sh oh entire shindig because it was such a waste of time and energy and something that had nothing to do with me he added keep my name clean i fear no rapper or any kind of any kind or on any time K dot solid, but y'all need to chill. Okay, well, there's Lupe's take on that one. <clears throat> so now let's check out the audio real quick. So first, I want to play this full video. This again is from Hip Hop DX. And if y'all want to hear the full audio from Lupe's Twitter, uh, that Twitter space that Lupe was on, you can check it out on my YouTube channel. I just posted it. Uh, earlier this morning around nine o'clock and we're actually going to listen to the first four minutes of this we're not going to listen to the whole thing because he was on there for about 30 minutes but if you want to hear the full part where lupe talks about kendrick and just the rap game in general you can check it out on the classic beast youtube channel so this was actually uh lupe fiasco talking about his apology to Kendrick Lamar. So I'm just going to let the video play all the way through. Y'all check so it out. So Lupe Fiasco recently set the record straight about his Kendrick Lamar apology. Hey, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX. And shout out and to Hip Hop DX. Out. After J. Cole surprisingly apologized to Kendrick Lamar after dissing him on the track 7 Minute Drill, Complex published an article called A History of Rappers Apologizing to Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> That's that a story, crazy Lupe title. Lupe Fiasco was featured for once claiming that Kendrick Lamar was not a top tier lyricist. At the time, Lupe tweeted, I'll put it to you like this. K-Dot is not a top tier lyricist to me and my standards when it comes to punchlines and bars. It's over yeah, and he just doubled down in the Twitter space that we just heard. Anyway. K-Dot is not a top tier lyricist to me and my standards when it comes to punchlines and bars. His overall lyrics are good, his story's phenomenal, but punchline entendre lyrically, I don't see it. Dang. They also added, also the only issue that the world thinks I have with K-Dot and I actually do is that I think his control verse was whack and super overhyped to be a verse claiming you are the best rapper. It was very weird. I was told it was just bait, but still. Lupe then later on apologized for his comments, writing, 
think mm. I should have just left it alone. Even though my impetus was the control verse, I mean, you put yourself out there like that, so you opened yourself up to critique. I agree. I apologize for even engaging and talking about careers. I'll never do that again. Man, these guys hate that. Some people want to call it respect. I call it weak, man. When you're in this game, if you want to be known as and want to compete to be at the top, you got to hurt feelings sometimes. I mean, that's just what it is. Maybe it's not for everybody. Maybe that's why there's only a few at the top. That's why Kendrick's at the top. Drake's at the top. Drake and Kendrick get it. Y'all have heard the clip that I played when Kendrick was being interviewed by Big Boy. And he said, I see this as a sport. I want to prove that I'm the best. Anybody who's in here, I love y'all. But if we go at it, we go at it. And that's how it should be, man. This apology stuff to me is just. It's just weak. It's you just not wanting to not wanting to fight for it, which is fine. But when you're not brought up in the conversation, don't be upset. J. Cole. Lupe eventually caught wind of the complex article about rappers apologizing to Kendrick, and he responded claiming that he wasn't actually apologizing to Kendrick per se. Lupe wrote, Relax yo, I wasn't apologizing to him, lol. Ow. I was sorry about the entire shindig because it was such a waste of time and energy and something that had nothing to do with me. Keep my name clean, I fear no rapper of any kind or any time. Hey dot solid, but y'all need to chill, lol. Lupe went on to reveal that he hasn't even heard the Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole diss tracks like that and 7 Minute Drill. When speaking about it, he said, Here's my two cents though, I honestly haven't listened to either record, other than accidental little things scrolling through social media and seeing the sample of the lyrics typed on memes. <laughs> other than that, I'm in the dark on the whole thing and will remain so. Next tweet, Sweet. I don't really care, Good night. Eid Mubarak. In response to a fan asking why Lupe hasn't listened to the tracks, he said, I thought would like the Sam Altman or the head of Blackstone, not the gang, jump off a conference call to listen to two <laughs> dissing each other on the internet. And I he, a said, he said, I'm about my business. Shout out to Lupe, man. I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> oh, man. Moment of clarity that we care too much about things that don't mean anything. With all due respect. I honestly am only doing this because I don't want any of these overzealous people with phones to get it twisted off some misinterpreted article. Yeah, and wah, wah, wah. Crying about the internet again. Come on, man. IRL and get removed from consciousness over hip hop. LOL. So what are your thoughts on what Lupe Fiasco said about the Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole disses? And do you All right. Y'all let me know what you think about that. So that's a little bit of the background. What's going on with Lupe. Now, if y'all haven't heard control, if you're in the hip hop community, I know you've heard control, but some of y'all might be new to the hip hop community or you haven't been listening to hip hop music maybe for 10 years ago because this song did come out 10 years ago. I want to read some of the lyrics from Kendrick's verse on control though. It's this song, man. Oh man, this song is crazy. This song is fire. Um, Here we go. So let me read some of the lyrics in here so y'all can kind of see a little bit of what Lupe's talk, talking about. This is Kendrick's part on control. Said, I heard the barbershops be in the greatest, be in the greatest debates of all time about who's the best MC, Kendrick, Jigga, or Nas, Eminem, Andre, the rest of y'all. New, new ninjas, just new ninjas, don't get involved. And I ain't rocking no more designer ish white tees and Nike Cortex. This red Corvette's anonymous. Um, usually, I'm usually homeboys with the same ninjas I'm rhyming with, but this is hip hop, and them ninjas should know what time it is. Thank you, Kendrick. Thank you. This is why. This is why. This is why I have so much respect for Kendrick Lamar because he gets it, man. He said this is hip hop. Them ninjas should know what time it is. J Cole. Don't give me that apology, man. Not only did you write it, not only did you record it, you released it, man. You released it. This is hip hop. Release the track, stand on it, take your L, and then move on. Or take your W. I don't know. Who knows? Kendrick might have Kendrick might have responded to J. Cole, and people still would be arguing today 
if J. Cole and Kendrick are still at that level. Now, J. Cole, he just folded. He's out of the game. He said, I don't, I don't want any parts of it. I hate this man, but Kendrick Lamar, I have so much respect for him because he understands and he gets the game. He gets competition. And he said, hey, we could be friends maybe on the side if your feelings aren't hurt. But when we're in the game, we're in the game. I got to read this again. I'm, I wish dudes are just so sensitive. Either that or they got a lot of skeletons in their closet. They don't want to come out. Could be that too. I'm usually homeboys with the same ninjas I'm rhyming with, but this is hip hop and the ninjas should know what time it is. And that goes for Jermaine Cole. Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, Meek Mills, ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J Electronica, <laughs> Tyler, Mac Miller, rest in peace. Man. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar, man. He's been, Kendrick Lamar has, has been that dude. That's, there's no denying that. I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you ninjas. Trying to make you, trying to make your core fans, <laughs> trying to make sure your core fans never heard of you ninjas. They don't want to hear not one more noun or a verb from you ninjas. Come on, Kendrick. What is competition? I'm trying to raise the bar. I'm trying to raise the bar high. Who trying to jump and get it? You're better off trying to skydive. Oh my gosh. This is, this verse is crazy. Out the exit window of five, of five G fives with the five grand, with five grand. With your granddad as the pilot, he drunk as <laughs> trying to land. With a handful of arthritis and popping prosthetic leg, bumping pock in the cockpit, so shit that pops in his head is the option of violence. Someone heard the stewardess said, that your parachute is a latex condom hooked to your dread West Coast. Give it up for Kendrick, man. <laughs> this is what I love to see. This is what I love to see. And again, for those of y'all who don't know, this is off of Control, which was dropped almost a decade ago. Over a decade ago, it was recorded for sure. And that's just part of the verse. Kendrick, he was not scared of the fight. This is why I love this situation between him and Drake. And I was wishing J. Cole would have stayed out of it in the first place. Because if you look at both of their track records, these guys are competitors. They're at the top of what they do. And this is, this is going to be a fun fight for sure. So I'm looking forward to the response from Kendrick. We're still three days out. I'm not putting anybody on the clock. Just do your thing, Kendrick. We're, we're waiting and ready for the response. Anyway, going back to Lupe Fiasco. So that was the verse he was talking about let's listen to <clears throat> let's listen to a little bit of the actual twitter spaces live that he did with averb and what he had to say about drake so y'all can hear the audio let me i want to rewind this a little bit so we can get some of the context hold on i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring that shit right up out you that's what you're saying you want to do all right, no, I just want, all right fine. so so you don't think that it's soft so once you tag lane the game oh you want to respond okay you want to think about it the game is follow the leader everybody want a piece of your thriller so i gotta keep it real that's all i do you ain't finna play my name in the streets on this rap shit so i'm just i'm just responding so niggas don't think it's soft that's it hey okay okay look you you say you just responded i'm, I'm walking to it you first. said you want to smoke i said what you trying wasn't to do that ain't responding wasn't, that's me telling it wasn't you wasn't an invite uh, it was insight and you took it the wrong way that's all i took it as insult because i know y'all ain't cut ain't like cut so you, I took it as insult. You, you ain't cutting. None of y'all. Uh, you ain't even the best nigga in your league, nigga. What you talking about? Nigga, I'm the only nigga that got my stats. Nigga, I'm the only nigga that got you here, period. I'm the only nigga with my stats. You ain't uh, here goes the back and forth. All right, I'm we don't care about this. World, Let me fast I'm forward a little bit. You know, we don't, we don't care about that. Here you go. Cameras. Well, well, we have them now. Yeah, you got them now, but... If, you alive. You got to make your history alive. My shit online, too. All right, here we go. Man, I'm gonna get on you. Bro. I didn't dance on niggas. Sure. That's easy. Hey, pause. Hey, yo. I bet. Play ball then. And, and you know what? It's up. You in route. You in route. Oh, you didn't show up, huh? You didn't think I was coming to your space. 
No, no, nigga, I didn't that's care. Fun. You know, I say this there. Everybody come here though, bro. Everybody come here though. You know, everybody come here. I like, I like Bird. He cool. All right, here we go. He's gonna respond here in a second. We, 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 gonna, we gonna see how. Hey, I told you, didn't, didn't, now, didn't I tell you years ago? I said you want to do, do that? what? And you laughed at me and told me right. Right, cause I mean it. I, <laughs> 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 you gonna pay for that though? You gonna, you gonna pay for that? For sure. Come on, Bird. You know, hey, hey, Lupe, hey, Lupe, you know where you at? You know we dogs over here, bro. I know y'all good. Come on. But you got like we ain't. Oh, I said dog. 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 That's you know, uh -huh. good backwards. Remove O. Yeah, God. Right that's backwards, right? Ain't no such thing as God, uh -huh. dog. Oh yeah, you don't believe no. in? It? Believe in devil though. You don't believe it? Plus, you believe in God's I amongst. I with that nigga this morning. Who a what? You don't believe in God though. I I don't. Hold on. All right, let me fast forward a little bit. No, to, to you. Well, no, I don't think none of you drink drink and shit. Yeah, like record for record, go back and record forth. Record for record. We good? Oh, no. Oh, no, we excellent. It's My up, man. Man. Here we go. Right, bet. <laughs> man, we excellent, yeah, but it's up, though. You going first? All right, bet. Break a neck can. Huh? You going to do it? Yeah, man. I, hey, hey, listen, man. Hey, look, in our world, the coin go in the air. The coin go in the air. One of us got to be ready at all times. I'll go first. Well, that's coins and currency. Let's all right, know, pull up. It's already 1-0. Right, it was insight. I like peace. You slid in. I just that's the least you can do. You spit on me ten years ago. Told me industry niggas can fuck with you. Yes, record for record. Yeah, like, come on, man. Like, who got the hot shit? Yeah. yeah, I teach that MIT. Come yeah. on, who got like come yeah, on this and who can just go record for record for record for record for record. Here we go. All right, so tell you what, I got a yeah. better one. Who 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 who's a better rapper, Drake or Kim? Drake. Oh man, he didn't even hesitate, man. Oh! There it is. He said, who's a better rapper? He says, Drake. Y'all got to let me know what you think in the chat. Drake is a better rapper yeah. than Kendrick. Do you like, okay, so is it, is it by a long shot? Not really. Drake Drake got bars, which you know. Okay. You know that, so you know. I would disagree. For sure. So I, I would give it to, to Drake. I think Kendrick's a better technically skilled performer, but I don't think he's a better. No. No. What? Nope. No. Nope. nope. It's the other way around for me. I don't know. Y'all have to let me know what you think. I think Drake is a better performer, a technical performer. I mean, we've even seen with his with his catalog. I mean, he's a chameleon. He can pretty much perform anything he wants to. He can change up his flows. But when it comes to the rapping side, Kendrick's just I mean, y'all heard the <laughs> control verse. Kendrick is just different. I don't know. I disagree. Perform. Yeah, that's a different. So okay, so 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 you ain't never heard Kendrick and felt like he was one of the most like he was what like like you cut like he was one of the most dangerous rappers. No, mm. no. So Kendrick puts no. You ain't never felt that. Yes, I have. I felt he was very dangerous. For sure. I don't know about that one, Lupe. Felt like he was dangerous to you. I felt like Kendrick Lamar still to this day. He's very surgical with words. Absolutely. Dang dangerous to no, no. Dangerous to you. Well, no, I don't think none of y'all dangerous to me. Like you. Oh, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Hey, so shout out to Averb. I'm saying, I'm saying, as far as like, because so hmm? if that was the case, you think he'd be dangerous to you, but he's not dangerous to you. I know he not. He's not dangerous to you. So, I know that. So is he dangerous to you? Because I got, I'm way more ahead of you though. What do y'all think he's gonna say? What do you? <laughs> What do y'all think Lupe's gonna say? Is is Kendrick dangerous to him? So Lupe's saying he would. Nah, I guess he just said nobody's dangerous. So I don't think he would say Drake is more dangerous. But clearly he's on Drake's side on this one. You way more ahead of me. And skill, boy, you know you ain't crazy. Skill set for sure. Okay. Who else believe that? I do. Who else believe that A Verb is a better rapper than Lupe Fiasco? Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers. Why wouldn't you? Let's do the count. What you a mean, lot. You want to take a poll on it or something? Take the poll. I, 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 I mean, like, that, like a voting poll, not like yeah, voting. But what you say? Yeah, like a vote. I don't vote. You know, what I'm just asking. Uh, if you believe that, that's fine. Yeah, we believe that. I'm a, I'll get on you, man. You know, you know what's up. <clears throat> you might, you, you might want to study a little more. I'll get on you though. <laughs> he said you might want to study a little more. All right, so there's actually another part I want to play for y'all, and then we'll we'll keep it moving on with the show. So this again, I posted on my YouTube channel. This is the full clip. Of from when Lupe Lupe joins the Twitter space to when he leaves. So if y'all want to hear the full thing in full content, I think it'll make a little bit more sense. But I want to play the first couple minutes of this and and react to it because there's some interesting things that Lupe says in here. And so, 
So who who you think winning the Drake War? I can't get into it. I know personally. Ah, oh, come on. Lupe, Why did I become on Lupe? Wait, nah, let him. Nah, he got to stay wait, in the middle. I can give Verb a street pass, but when I say some street, because I'm in it too personal. You just talking about raps, guy. You talking about the raps? That's all, brother. Rap, rap, rap shit. They just rap shit. Who think that that's just rap shit? I'm just talking about the raps, though. I don't. I don't. I'm not privy to know behind the scenes. Okay, I fuck with. I fuck with all, the, I fuck with all the niggas. I, but I honestly, Verb, you can leave though. Just leave us alone. <laughs> hey, but I honestly, <laughs> I honestly, and it's real talk. And then then this body shit kind of irked me a little okay. bit, right? Is I ain't even listen to the Kendrick verse. Or the J. Cole verse. Really? I need, I got come, come on, man. Stop the cap. On, on, on God. I believe in God. I believe in the last month. Ramadan Mubarak. Eat Mubarak to everybody. They were fast. Um, come on, I ain't, even, I ain't even listen to it. And not even on some, like, I'm holier than thou shit. I'm better than niggas. I just ain't get around to listening to it. So I ain't even heard what them niggas said. I heard, like, to be very, very clear. You know how niggas will post like a little snippet on, on the gram or some shit like that? Or they'll put up, you know, they'll put the lyrics on like a TikTok. So all I seen was like, the nigga said, ain't the fuck the big three, big me shit. And I seen him say like the, the switches shit. He glitching with the switches or some shit. <laughs> Man, that song is everywhere. Stop the cap. Ain't no way. Ain't no way Lupe hasn't heard this. Come on, man, why? So him saying that makes me think there's still something there, even though he apologized and then unapologized. Come on, just say you heard it. It's crazy. And I ain't heard shit else. And I, I ain't. It's the number one song on We Don't Trust You. Come on. I heard the J. Cole shit, and I'll probably never hear because nigga took it down. But I ain't, I ain't, I ain't hear none of this shit. So the shit popped J. off. J. Cole stays like, taking shots. Man, Lou, who you got? And for me, because niggas feel like I got this beef with Kendrick. If I say anything but Kendrick, I'm hating. So I was like, I'm yeah, it's true. And saying you haven't heard it is crazy. But saying you listen to Drake's it is even wilder. Come on, man. I ain't even listen to the shit. I ain't got no opinion. I ain't even heard shit. <laughs> Mr. Like, Tesla said, why are you always lying? Yeah. Stop the cap. Come on, man. I did listen to that Drake shit because <clears> fucking <throat> Drake, right? That nigga. But I did listen to that All Drake right, shit. Now, this, because... sounds, this sounds crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. This sounds crazy. Y'all hear how listen to how he says this. It, it's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Listen to how he says this. No opinion. I ain't heard shit. But I did listen to that Drake shit because <laughs> what? Sounds like he's he's rubbing his hands in the background. But I did listen to that Drake shit, you know. Yeah, mm, Drake, you know, Drake, Drake. Like, hey, chill, hey, man. <laughs> chill, Lupe. I ain't got no opinion. I ain't heard shit. But I did listen to that Drake shit because fucking Drake, right? That nigga nice. But oh. even still, when Ross popped back, what? Hey, yo, what did he say? Hey. Relax. I listened to the Ross shit. And then when I seen what Ross was saying, I was done. Because I fuck with Ross. I fuck with Drake. I fuck with Cole. I think I fuck with K-Dot. I don't know. I don't think you but fuck, fuck with Kendrick as a fan looking at the fuck on my nigga. I don't think you fuck with K-Dot like that, bro. I don't know why. Just, no, no. I, I don't think, think so either. I mean, as a person, I don't know. Right. We met like mm. one time. but I Do you think what, what Cole did was... I ain't even heard it, bro. Nah, the, well, him saying sorry. Nah, because I know how that feel. It was weak. Nah, what? Is it good or bad? What it was mean? weak. I mean, to each their own, on some rap shit, we do, we showing what niggas supposed to do, pee it. Right? Me and you right now. Niggas say something, mm -hmm. say something then, nigga, right? That's what the shit supposed to be. But everybody ain't built like that. So I understand. And then on some street shit, niggas like to go to Miami. And you might think like, oh. It's oh, man, that's so annoying. How does he say he's not built like that when he recorded, wrote, and released and released it. The track was out there. It was out there for what two, three days. What happened, man? What do you mean he's not built like that? How? This is a guy, J. Cole, who's been saying for years that he's the greatest. I'm a this, I'm a that. You gotta no, he folded. Folded like a Walmart plastic chair. What the shit? supposed to be but everybody ain't built like that so i understand and then on some street shit niggas like to go to miami 
and you might think like, oh, it's just rap shit until niggas is knocking on your hotel door and shit. And that shit happened. So I could see him mm. like, I don't even want nothing to do with that shit. I thought we was just rapping. That's a good point. Right? And it but ain't still. really rap shit no more. At least from my opinion. Yo, niggas, that's like throwing a rock through somebody's window and they see you. And you're like, oh, I'm sorry. Please don't call the police. I shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry if you call the police. You know, I understand, but you don't have to call the police. Um, no, that's not who I am. That's not me. <laughs> and I'll pay for the window. Nah, man, you did it. Get teased. Niggas talk shit. Niggas say this. Niggas say slick shit. Niggas drop names. Niggas do this. Then before you know it, it ain't you. So I'm not worried about you, Verb. And you, you, you ain't worried about me. Oh, listen that. to this. This is wild. But I don't know your niggas. You don't know my niggas. So we could just be bantering, talking shit, calling each other pussies, whatever. But your man, that's what I say. Once you tag lame, the game is follow the leader. So they're going to follow you, but they don't rap. They just fight niggas. So when I come to St. Louis, it's going to be, man, what's that shit you talking about? Ava? Oh, right? no. Nah, right? But I'm not, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I'm not come saying on, that man. that's going to happen. I'm just saying that that could be the sentiment that niggas have. Now, he does kind of make a good point here because, again, as we saw with Rick Ross talking about Drake's plane, I would never get on that plane again. And I would want to know where Rick Ross is, where anybody who's affiliated with Rick Ross is at all times. After you're saying, hey, man, be careful. You might not want to get in that plane. It's an old plane. You know, something could happen. Y'all pray for Drake. I pray nothing happens. He's saying all this off of a beef that he kept going drake just said one thing on the verse i mean you could have let it go it's sometimes man in the rap game artists are weird they're sensitive so i get it i get what he's saying so i can understand why cole would be like i don't even want none of that smoke right and i really and and to be honest bro like kendrick did so much for the mentality of young black culture that to hear j cole talking about to pimp a butterfly and shit damn and shit and he looking at what those albums actually mean to people like he doing some white folk he doing like some Ku Klux Klan make them eat their own shit oh man all right that's enough of that shout out to Lupe P Fiasco there's clearly something there I don't care what he says man stop the cap he said he didn't listen to like that by Metro Future and Kendrick he didn't listen to J. Cole's apology, but he listened to Drake's 50 or Drop It, Give Me 50. It's not even an official release. Come on, man. So again, if y'all want to go listen to the full audio in full context, you can find it over on the Classy Beast YouTube channel. And for this video, I actually have it pinned somewhere at the top of the screen so y'all can go and watch it. But yeah, y'all let me know what you think, man. Y'all let me know what you think. <laughs> it's wild out here, man. Look at smoking the one in the chat throwing tomatoes. <laughs> oh, man. King Creole said, I just now listened yesterday. Yeah, that's fine. A lot of people just listen. Drip says, uh, ain't none of them finna to do nothing to each other. All this just entertainment. Shh, I don't know. Rick Ross took it to another level when he's talking about the plane. To me, I would look at that. I would, if you keep the plane, I would have to tighten up security. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see what y'all are saying. Uh, Italo says, ninja's got to say pause or no diddy after every sentence nowadays. No, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not saying no diddy, but sometimes a pause is is needed <laughs> shout out to lupe imperial status says lupe is cap yeah i think he's capping a little bit but he did make some good points too dudes dudes be ready to crash out for no reason and you didn't ask him to you didn't ask him to do anything it might just be the music and they say oh damn was trash boy they spin the block Six Lenses said, Kendrick lost. Now move on. Uh, Six Lenses is a big Drake fan. 
to say Drake isn't good isn't opinion based because the numbers don't add up. Well, it's not all about numbers, but Drake, he really is doing all of it. I mean, when it comes to writing, he's collaborated with so many artists, even helped write for Kanye, which Kanye's praised him for his writing ability uh, several times. So, yeah, I, to, to doubt Drake's ability as an artist, as a performer, I think is just crazy at this point. Uh, Divine Duality said it's all attention. They all need attention. Needy uh, says needy horrors selling them cheeks for. Oh, I get what you were trying to say. Mikey Gascans up in here too. What's up, Mikey? Uh, King Creole said lyrical video for Splash drops in less than thirty. Okay, so we got to play that one. Hopefully. Uh, King Creole, hopefully you drop the link because I will play that first once we get into the music reviews here in a second. Um, West Attack says, where Lupe, Lupe fears Kendrick. He's just trying to stay relevant when it comes to the music side at this point because come on, Lupe. Come on. Smoking the One says, Drake should chill as well. PNB died over a chain out there. No, to get to Drake, it's... it's I don't think Drake is worried about somebody getting to him, but that whole plane talk by Rick Ross. Yeah, I would have to tighten up security for sure. Mark of the Prophet said Drake is talented. Absolutely. Absolutely. Italo Calvino said, Classy, we need to have a battle. Wait, he said, Classy, we have a battle tonight. Song of the Night Live. Yeah, are you talking about the... Are you talking about the versus challenge? Yeah, y'all make sure you tune in. I guess I need to mention this while everybody's still in here. Y'all make sure you tune in tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Shout out to Italo. We've got a versus challenge to kick off tonight's show. Five artists are going to co be competing to claim that next spot in the Song of the Night Live Season 8 tournament. We've got Mandy X in there. We've got Jaten, Lili, Dizzy Days, and Mosif. So y'all do not want to miss out on this. It's going to be absolutely insane. Make sure y'all tap in tonight. Shout out to King Creole for dropping the link in the chat. And we're going to get into a couple more comments and then we'll get to the music reviews. All right. So let's see. Divine Feminist says Drake has talent. Nobody says nobody says otherwise. Yeah. I, saying Drake isn't talented is crazy. Imperial status says Lupe's mad. Kendrick got his, got his clout for the same type of music. Yeah. That's what Smokey the One said on the comment over on the members only side he said that lupe was supposed to be what kendrick is and he just dropped the ball so that might there might be a little animosity there and let me go back in the chat too because i want to welcome our new member speaking on the member side chi chi is over there i said chi chi chu chi's over there shout out to chu chi welcome to the diamond side we got to make sure we get a song from chu chi today and then casper clark is back in the building too Shout out to all the new members. Who else? Who else? Hollywood Co. says, I can't pick a side in this. I'm just watching when it comes to Lupe and Kendrick or when it comes to Kendrick and Drake. This is going to be, yeah, this battle is going to be crazy. Drake's having fun with it. I know Kendrick's having fun with it too. I think these two artists are the perfect fit for this type of thing. And hip hop needs it too. I mean, you know, there have been conversations about where hip hop is in general, and I think it was debatable on whether it's hip hop is up or down. But this is going to be something that's going to give a lot of people opportunity like a Rick Ross, like a Lupe Fiasco, like a J. Cole, who has an album dropping soon to just get more eyes on their music, get more publicity on their music, get into the algorithm, get people talking about them. So I think it's just it's just a good thing for the community. And it's fun to watch them do it, too, because. Especially if it doesn't get violent, I think Drake and Kendrick, they're going to, they're really going to do this the right way. So I'm glad it's them and it's not, you know, some, some other goopy, goofy crash out type dudes. Uh, Drip says this, they're going to end up squashing it. Watch. Ooh, that's a bold prediction. Squashing. Mm, I don't know if I see that. If they... If you mean like a truce to where they just give each other a salute and they shake hands and they say, hey, it was a good fight. We'll let the people decide. I could see maybe that. But I think at the end of the day, 
Drake is really is really fighting the 20 versus one right now. And he's looking like. I think people are saying that Kendrick had to assemble the Avengers to fight off Drake, which is making Drake look superior. And at the end of the day, I think he's going to look like the hero, especially if he delivers on a lot of the music. So uh, it'd be interesting to see, man. That's just my prediction. I, I think Drake, at the end of the day, he's going to continue to progress and win despite of this. So I, I can't see anything, anything in this situation that just makes Drake take a major, major loss. So that's what I'll say on that one. Six Lenses says, I listen to more than just rap. Me too. I'm not one minded at all. I could say he has good albums. This is coming from a guy who listens to pop, J pop, rock, and rock music uh, that's older than you. Yeah, shout out to shout out to classic rock. I love me some classic rock, man. Smoking the one says that Kendrick Diss was all was AI classy. I don't know. It's possible. Margaret the Prophet says, all they ask working together, if you ask me, oh, could be. It's entertainment with, with millions to be made. Yep. King Creole says, Lily is nice. Yeah, and I saw that she won on the Weatherman's channel, right? Shout out to Lily. She's over here killing it. Uh, LA Wood says, nah, the Diddy thing is the biggest distraction. We so distracted, we don't know. Uh, WTF was really going on. Yeah, we're not. I'm glad this happened because I didn't want to keep talking about Diddy. I'm just like, eh, I'm over it. But we're going to talk about Diddy at some point once uh, once the FBI and Homeland Security decides what they're going to do. Hollywood Coast says nobody cares about no damn Lupe. Oh, my gosh. Smoking the one. He's got smoke for Sage. He said, where's Sage? I want to drop this track. We've also got Casper Clark. Super. With the super chat, he says, keep up the grind, team. Each one of you are stars just for pushing to just pushing toward your dream, I think is what you meant to say. All right, shout out to him. Smokey the one said, 13 years going and getting squashed. I agree. I agree 100%. King Creole said, too early to squat. No, I mean, Kendrick really hasn't released an official response yet either. But I guess technically Drake hasn't Drake hasn't released it officially, which I actually heard. Let me see. I'll look it up in a second. I actually heard that Drake officially said that he's going to release the the drop and give me 50 song. I'll find it here in a second. Uh, six lenses talent wise. Whose tour sold the most Drake's or Kendrick? Yeah. Mm. How many tickets you sell doesn't equate to your talent. So I would, I would just stop you right there. Yeah, I would, I'm not going to mention names, but there's other people who have sold out tours that I would say weren't as talented as other people. But anyway, what else do you say? Cause the last official article I checked, it's all a blur. Well, it's all I think you're just trying to say that Drake did better than Kendrick. Yeah, I'm not going to go down that road. I wouldn't use that as a. I wouldn't use that as a deciding factor. What else are y'all saying? Let's get a couple more and then we're going to. And then we're going to get into it. Uh, King Creole says, please leave that witch out of this. Who are you talking about? King Creole? Dang. What witch? What witch are you talking about? Uh, let's see. Oh, y'all are talking about. You're talking about Taylor and Beyonce. Divine Feminine says, so you're going to tell me Taylor is better than Beyonce according to your numbers. Yeah, the, the numbers conversation. You got to have that. The, the numbers conversation doesn't. Doesn't factor in when it comes to talent. In my opinion, you can't put numbers and talent in the same conversation because there's tons of artists who are in this community alone that are more talented than some artists i spice who are <clears throat> sexy red who are killing it right now so yeah you can't uh, i wouldn't do that 
I personally wouldn't do it. I'm not going to tell you what you can or can't do. I'm just saying it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, I, nah. Okay, I think we're good. We're going to go ahead and get into the reviews. We've been talking enough. I appreciate y'all, though. We got a ton of people in here. What's up, y'all? It's good to know. Thank y'all for being here. I guess y'all are enjoying the topics, enjoying the back and forth. I'm having fun with it, too. A little bit of a, a switch up for things that we normally do. But we're still going to do music reviews today. So if you want to get your music reviewed, it is super easy to do. If you're watching on BandLab, you can submit your links right there in the live chat. If you're watching on any other platform, the link to submit is in the description. You can send in as many songs as you want to. And I'm going to try and get as many of y'all in here as I can. I want to say everybody, but I don't want to say that and then not do it. So let me see. Is this King Creole's? Oh, okay. This is the premiere for Splash. So let me set. I'm going to set a timer for one o'clock. Hold on. Set an alarm for one. Set an alarm for 1 p.m. All right. So King Creole, this is going to alert me when your premiere is going live. And then we'll actually, we'll actually watch that video live. So shout out to King Creole. He is dropping the video today. We're going to show him some love. Uh, who else is in here? Oh, y'all are dropping names of people in the community too. Yeah, shout out to y'all. Margaret the Prophet says, Candy Lady and LA are a million times more talented than Not Sexy Red and Water Spice. The industry picks who they want to push. Yeah, 100%. Ugh. Even just saying their names it hurts. It's painful. All right, here we go. Let me see. So first, we're going to get some of the members in here. If you are a member on the Classy Beach YouTube channel, do me a favor. Drop a one in the chat so I can make sure I get y'all in here. I see a bunch of y'all, too. We got Casper Clark. I know Bizo Beats is in there. We've got L.A. We're going to hear one from King Creole. Chuchi, the newest member over there on the Classy Beats YouTube channel. Young Steppa, DJ Snufu, Italo is up in here, too. Yeah, I think those are all the members in there. Italo, Chuchi, Glow. Yeah, Glow, did you send anything in, though? I don't think Glow sent anything in. I see him over on the vertical side, but he didn't send anything. Uh, Yeehaw Bob is in here. What's up, Yeehaw Bob? We've got KSO Rocky said, what's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, they already made it because I'm here to hear some up and coming artists. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got you. We got you. We got you. We got you. Yeah, Glow didn't submit for some reason. Underdog. Yeah, Mr. Tesla. Where did you send yours in at? And Drip, Smokey. I don't, Smokey, I didn't see your submission. Maybe I missed it. I got LA. I said LA. Smokey didn't send one in. Uh, Glow didn't submit. Chuchi, I see yours over there. Yeah, Smokey said he's listening to Not Sexy Red to to get the yeah, to get the ladies turned up. I see you, man. I'm not mad at it. I just can't stand. I yeah. Anyway, uh, Shame is over there on Band Lab. I see you. And let me get Bizo Beats link too. All right, cool. So this first one we're going to hear is from Hollywood Co. He sent over the whole project. And I'm actually going to switch. Now I'll leave my headphones on. So while we get to this one, let me open DJ Snufu 2. And we'll get DJ Snufu in here first. All right, y'all check this one out. Let me know what you think. It's called Lost But Now Found. Ooh. I'm going to exit out of this project from Co.
Asian Cat song. man I'm gonna add this to the playlist to y'all or drop the link to this for y'all too okay underdog i got you all right there it is dj snoofu we're gonna fade this one out yeah, that's nice. Y'all give it up to DJ Snoofu. This beat is sick. It's got to be DJ Snoofu. I dropped the link for y'all in the chat. Super dope. I also added it to our playlist, the Community Beats playlist and the Beats to Listen to playlist over on BandLab. If y'all haven't checked it out, make sure you do that. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Shout out to Bizo Beats. Moses says, Metro, shut your whole ass up. Shut your whole ass up and make some drums, ninja. God dang. He said that issue is still funny after 24 hours ago. Yeah, Metro. And, and here's, here's the thing. This is Metro's fault. Not only did he try and assemble the Avengers to take down Drake, uh, but he was talking a lot before we, we don't trust you drop when we don't trust you drop and then shortly after we don't trust you drop and now metro he's been quiet <laughs> oh man that's wild let's get hollywood co up in here shout out to metro Boomin. uh la wood says i never ever heard a not sexy red song that's crazy i don't care what she sound like I don't know if she sounds like this because of that popular song. I'm not going to say. And this is how she rap. And it's really annoying. Angers me, man. This is what that's what the community is going to support. We're not going to have that conversation today. Hollywood Co. Deadly. Co, Co, you about to lose your wrench, man. Nigga, my mama raised a gangster. Real talk, it's like I'm always in some danger. You know classic so these problems seem to follow everywhere we go, we go, we go. They follow everywhere we go, we go. I got a deadly trigger finger. Real talk, nigga, the devil, not a stranger. He like a shadow, he just follow everywhere we go, we go, we go. He follow everywhere we go, we go. Nigga, but that's just how we go. I've been through this shit before, this shit not new to me. 
These pussy niggas try to rob me for my jewelry. Mission impossible, I'm Tom Cruise to the Tom Foolery. I do what I gotta do at the end, it's gonna be you or me. Winter time I move with heat, summertime I keep a peace. Yeah, the seasons change, but nigga, ain't no fucking changing me. Don't make yourself a target, niggas, like a shooting range to me. Looking for some problems, I'ma give you what you came to see. I swear, it get dangerous out here, but that's how I was raised. Thuggin' as a youngin', I'm still in my childish ways Focus on the money, I can't get these hoes a time of day Any means, I'm tryna get paid Nigga, my mama raised a gangsta Real hey. talk, it's like I'm always in some danger So these problems seem to follow everywhere we go, we go, we go They follow everywhere we go, we go I got a deadly trigger finger Real talk, nigga, the devil, not a stranger He like a shadow, What's he up, just follow money, everywhere we go Go, we go, he follow everywhere we go, we go. Nigga, but that just how we go. I really feel I have no control. I lost feelings from broken bones. Hey, I guess coming from a broken home make me feel so emotional. My bad. Like dealing with a roller coaster crash. Don't know how I'm supposed to last. When when help gon' come, I got opposers on my ass. No one to help me when demons they come. Faced with a choice, do I fight them or run? I got my back to the wall, but I'm still gonna swing. I ain't going for none. My man is begging for peace. People around me just beg for a piece. They ain't hand me a piece of the pie. I'ma take me a slice and then make them believe. Make them believe from the city where they struggle to eat. And the ignorant be disturbing the peace. Ducking rats just to get to the cheese. Dirty project air for me to breathe. It's too loud in here, I can't sleep. Swear my mama raised me as a G. Nigga, my mama raised a gangsta Real talk, it's like I'm always in some danger So these problems seem to follow everywhere we go, we go, we go They follow everywhere we go, we go I got a deadly trigger finger Real talk, nigga, the devil, not a stranger He like a shadow, he just follow everywhere we go, we go, we go He follow everywhere we go, we go Nigga, but that just how he go yeah, this is fire, man. Shout out to Hollywood Code. And Day Day on this one. Oh my God. Mm. I will definitely be mixing this for y'all. And thank y'all for recording over a classic beat, too. Aww. It just warms my heart. <laughs> uh, I appreciate y'all, man. That was dope. Shout out to Day Day. That's definitely the first time I've heard him on one of my beats. That's amazing, man. He said Day Day slid. Both of y'all went crazy. That hook is. Man, that hook is catchy, catchy. Um, yeah, I bookmarked this one, Cole. I'm going to mix this for y'all. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, but if I don't do it tomorrow on the BandLab Engineer channel, I will definitely do it tomorrow on the morning show. All right, so shout out to Hollywood Co. and Day Day. That was dope. Hey, Marco said he likes the beat. Appreciate you, man. Drip, don't, hey, don't you do it, man. I swear, I swear. Drip is over here saying that <laughs> that Drake is Sexy Red's baby daddy. Man. I can't drip. I'll be shocked if that's true. Smooth game is up in here too. What's up, man? Okay, it is one o'clock. We need to go and check out King Creole's premiere. <laughs> That YouTube premiere music is always so loud. So while we're waiting for the premiere for King Creole's song or video, we should say this is Splash. Make sure y'all tap in tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the Classy Beats YouTube channel. We are going to be giving away $100 and you have a chance to win a brand new Shure 55 SH microphone. We've got two door prizes we give away along with that as well. And you get a chance to get your music heard in front of the entire community. So make sure y'all tune in tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know it's early, all right? I know. <laughs> but we are going to be live on the BandLab Engineer channel. If y'all haven't checked out the channel, make sure you do that. And I'll actually drop the link to this video in the chat. So y'all can check it out. We're going to be live tomorrow, 9 a.m. I'm going to do a full mix and master of Triple C song. And we might, if we have time, we might do a mix and master on a couple other songs too. So it's going to be a good time. Make sure y'all stay tuned in for that. All right, let me see if 
we are good there we've got 41 seconds if y'all could go over to the band lab engineer channel and subscribe if you haven't yet let me see what y'all are saying in the chat too let's see mikey gas can said i'll be there appreciate you man divine duality says classy i submitted but don't play it i have to i have to go sign some paperwork for my lease I love y'all so much. Stay blessed. Shout out to Divine Duality. All right, here we go. So this is the official premiere of Splash by King Creole. Y'all check it out. Now let me switch to this. Such a vibe When I'm with you I feel so alive You got me all wrapped up Captive to your love I cannot get enough Just wanna feel your touch Your kiss gives me such a rush I love when it's only us Can't help it, I'm tempted to touch Can't help it, I'm tempted to touch King Creole <laughs> with Splash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killed it, man. And shout out to King Creole for stopping by and letting us premiere that one, too. That was dope, man. Aww. Definitely the first time we've been able to do that on the show. Y'all go subscribe to his YouTube channel and like the video. If you haven't yet, make sure y'all leave a comment, too. Let me hit the subscribe button if you're gonna be dropping videos like that yeah y'all go check him out let me drop the link to his channel in the chat too yeah that was dope Bizo B said he was feeling it yes sir yeah, that was nice all right here we go yeah, thanks for premiering that here, man. That was that was awesome. Great video. Great work on that one. And y'all make sure you share it too. Definitely gotta share the video. Um, let me see. Here we go. 
All right, let's keep it moving. Let me pull this up here. We don't need that anymore. And then I need, where did it go? Okay, so I need to get the rest of the members in here. So we got Sly. Uh... Who's up next? We got Snoofu. We've got, let's get Chuchi in here. All right, shout out to Chuchi. LA Wood, I've got you on the list too. I need to go ahead and pull up the rest of the members as well. So I got this one. Got him. Bizo Beats, I got yours. Five Nights, I see you in there. And Casper Clark is in here too. We got Young Steppa. Okay, here we go. Check this one out from the new member over on the Classic Beats YouTube channel, Mr. Chuchi. It's called Linda Part 2. Listen, Linda. This sound like well, uh, she ain't fucking with no ordinary. Oh. <laughs> My Linda, she cold as the winter, favorite month of December, and she just won a winner. I've been trying to tell you how I feel, you don't get the picture. The more I try, the more it seems we getting distant. I swear that you the only one I see. I see you in my dreams Trying to tell you what I mean But it's so hard to take the lead She like how I walk and she like how I talk See I go straight to the source She hold it down and for home and I'm ready for war Her birthday the fourth Trying to tell you what I mean Trying to take you out some jeans Yeah you trying to hide from me But that's some shit I never see Maybe we need to take a vacay Take a trip just for the week Somewhere different with the vibes I'm thinking somewhere overseas It's like I tell you how I feel But you never really listen You Focused on your love, I'm on a mission I swear that you my Linda She cold as the winter Favorite month of December And she just won a winner I've been trying to tell you how I feel You don't get the picture The more I try, the more it seems we getting distant uh, She ain't fucking with no ordinary Wow. That's Choo Choo, y'all. It's clear he knows exactly what he's doing. Good Lord. Yo, my headphones were dancing on that one, man. That was amazing, man. The production was everything Perfect. about the, the hook, the time of the track. I mean, it was short, sweet, to the point. I mean, phew. wow. Great work, Choo Choo. We got to hear more from you, man. And make sure you send that in to the show tonight too all right wow la wood said i'm so proud of this community the level up on the music is real yeah absolutely that was crazy absolutely crazy speaking of la woods up in here this song is called too much y'all check it out casper clark i got you in here too oh i like this beat Crazy, bro. That's just on the app. 
Did I sell your ass some song? Shout out my Haitians and my Mexicans. Freakins and Dominicans. No, I'm a fucking ox from the fucking hood stuff. Nah, I don't smoke no weed. Told that nigga, hell no. Nah. Just know I'm lying through my teeth. And to hell we shall go. You know I still <laughs> ain't shit. But these hoes can tell her. No, hey. I don't know that nigga. That's a fucking weirdo. I got a set by my set. That's a fucking weirdo. Well, bitch, you take one to no one. Ain't that weird though? They say I just do too much, but really I don't give a fuck. Insta wouldn't give a damn if I had another fuck. Bitch, I got two hundred dollars, knowing you gon' wanna fuck. When she say I'll cash out, I might send it just because. I don't want no pictures trying to spit that in your ass. Trying to skip the simple shit and just get strictly on your ass. <laughs> free free out, I'll lay in the building. Yeah. Y'all give it up. I see y'all showing love in the chat too. That was dope. Yeah, LA, that's one of the cleanest songs I've heard from you. So very well done on that one. Delivery, the energy was all there. The only critique I have is this transition was a little bit choppy. Free Free got off timing on the first like, four to eight bars there. So I'll maybe tighten that up just a little bit more. So that way the timing doesn't get too... It's not too hard to keep on time, but overall, that was dope, man. I love it. Mr. Tesla said, what did he say? What did he say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. If he could, if he could redo the timing on that transition, I think it'll be smooth. LA said, see, you think it, it would sound fire if I came back in with the regular tempo and the hook again after free? No, I think the song structure is fine. Because I like the switch up in energy. Now, if you wanted to do. One thing you could do is take the hook. And just record it over this. Part. Hold on, wait. Hey, you're doing too much. So you could take your hook from the first section and record it over the end of this beat I'll cash out. I might send it just because. and just change up um just change up the energy and the flow so it's different so you could do that but i definitely wouldn't like copy and paste it for sure so that's an idea so you could repeat the hook at the end just as an outro but overall i think the song structure is good i wouldn't overthink it uh shout out to you mojo he says, hey guys, what is up? Classy, if I send in a song, will you review it? I will do my best. I'm going through the members right now and I might be able to get you in there, but we're, we're probably gonna only be here for another 15 minutes. Um, LA said he must have not liked the beat because he changed it and just kept going. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. Mr. Tesla says, I like the switch up idea. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. LA said, yes, that's what I'm going to try. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the love, y'all. Shout out to LA. Yeah, I think that would be dope. All right, here we go. Baizo beats up in here with five nights. I think this is a song. We'll see what he says. Bring the shit up, Zo. Wow. Baby, come set me free from all the problems of my world. My world. It's been so nice since you've been around. You've always been my girl. My girl. It's been so long, so long. since I last seen my soul lost in its monster. That I just can't let go. Yeah, yeah. Since you've been gone, I've been singing a stupid song about my nightmares. 
Cause I hate sleeping alone Yeah, yeah Night one and I'm low key missing you Night two and you still ain't coming through Night three is getting real unusual Night four come around and I still been calling you Night five I'm thinking you want something new When the sun back in the sky girl I'm never seeing you Ever since the last time I got so much to say to you I'm not blocked cause my message blue I don't got no clue Where you been at? Who you been with? Shawty I don't want no friendship Fuck that friendship You was the only one I danced with Hold the hands with Girl I feel like broken Freddy you left me so damn Image. Yeah. Baby, come set me free from all the problems in my world. It's been some nights since you've been around. You've always been my girl. My girl. It's been so long, so long. since I last seen my soul lost in this monster. That I just can't let go. Yeah, let go, let yeah. Go. Since you've been gone, I've been singing this stupid song about my nightmares. Cause I hate sleeping alone. alone. Yeah. There are many types of monsters in this world. Monsters who will not show themselves and cause trouble. Monsters who always tell lies. Lying monsters are real. They pose as humans, even though they have no understanding of the human heart. All right, shout out to Bizo Beats. And shout out to Ben Weezy over on the Music Morning Show Vertical Edition. Good to see you. Hollywood Coast said, my headphones are smoking. Yeah, it definitely got a workout on that one for sure. Uh, yeah, that was intense. I like it. The song structure was strange and maybe it's just i'm not in tune with this type of style but it was kind of hard to follow for me um, except on some of the parts where the singing came in and then the intro it was just i could not catch the tempo at all again maybe it's just me and it was more of a cinematic intro but i want to so this again uh king creole says I have to say, this is one of the most supportive and all around dope communities. Hey, you have to keep it up. It's made, it's made possible by you guys. Yeah, and by kicking the trolls up out of here too. You know, we got some people that have tried to come into the community and diminish what we're trying to do here, but you guys have really kept it this type of environment and folks like King Creole, like Drip, like LA Wood, like Top Shelf Mexican, like Jen, Mandy X, Hollywood Co, Marco, so many people I can name that are constantly here supporting and really creating uh, this type of environment, this type of space. Uh, it, it means a lot as well. Casper Clark in there too. Um, yeah, thank you to y'all, man. Thank you to King Carroll. Yeah, Casper uh, Clark says, he says, I'm having a hard time. Yeah, I got to listen to this again. just me with the intro i couldn't catch the tempo for some reason and then the lyrics here i gotta go back and listen to these lyrics because there was something in here that didn't really make sense I'm back in the sky girl i've never seen you ever since the last time i got so much to say to you i'm not blocked cause my message blue i don't got no clue where you been at who you been with shawty i don't want no friendship fuck that friendship you was the only one i danced with hold their hands with girl i feel like broken freddy you left me so damaged yeah Oh, he said you was the one. I don't want no friendship. Fuck that friendship. You was the only one I danced with. Hold their hands with. Yeah, that you just sounded like he. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> if y'all are listening that closely. But that you sounds like he's the only one I dance with. That's why I was kind of like, what? And it was confusing because he was talking about a girl here earlier. And then he says he's the only one I dance with. But 
Sounds like you. So it's probably just me. That's not a big deal. Ever since the last time, I got so much to say to you. I'm not blocked, cut my message blue. I don't got no clue. Where you been at? Who you been with? Shorty, I don't want no friendship. Fuck that friendship. You was the only one I danced with. Hold their hands with. Yeah, it's probably just me. It's one of those things that I hear weird. Shout out to Bonnie Mad. Bonnie Mad Leah says, who are you? I'm nobody, man. I'm just a dude listening to some music. But yes, I see your message over there on kick. LA said, I heard it too. Yeah, I think it's just one of those weird things. You can hear it either way. <laughs> LA said, no, I'm big here. <laughs> you listen, listen to a couple times and think the word you, LA, and then you'll hear you. Hey, I don't want no friendship. Fuck that friendship. You was the only one I danced with. Hold their hands with. It's because he blended the you was. So it's, it's um, he says, you was. You was, who was, who was, so it could sound like he, but he just blended the you and the was together. <laughs> Hollywood Cole said, wait a minute, who are you? <laughs> you was the only one I danced with. That friendship. You was the only one I danced with. Hey, I don't want no friendship. Fuck that friendship. You was the only one I danced with. Hold their hands. Man, I can't stop hearing he. LA said, okay, you're right. I don't know. Y'all let me know. We're gonna keep it moving. Matrix in by Casper Clark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh man. Okay. Hey, what's up, Trippy? Uh, that's real. We gotta get out of here in a minute. Check it. Yeah. Uh feel like I'm inside the matrix, no frontin'. Calm cool, collected, yo, there ain't no bluffing. Trippin' through life, stay awoke, no distractions. Passing through the system, ain't no time for slow reactions. Mind elevated, senses activated. I'm bustin' through these walls, they built, they underestimated. In this real world, watch me navigate it. No time for patience, on me, I'm the one they hate it. Make the trips and the mind be flippin'. I'm calm, cool, collected, but behind the scenes, I'm drippin'. From the streets to cyberspace, straight grippin'. Freakin' through these chains, forever I'll be livin'. Tripping, my mind be flipping, calm, cool, collected, but behind the scenes I'm dripping. From the streets of cyberspace, straight gripping, breaking through these chains forever. I'll be living. Peep the code, hey, hey, trying to keep us contained, but I'm breaking barriers while they staying constrained. Ghosts in the system, Neo would be proud, keeping it real, no sellouts in the crowd. The eyes wide open, they can't tell me what's real Collecting data, moving stealthy with the steel Liberation's the mission, I'm rising up from the deal Matrix Tripper rebels, follow me with the thrill Matrix Tripping, minds be flipping The calm cool collected, but behind the scenes I'm dripping From the streets, I'm a stay straight gripping Breaking through these chains forever, I'll be living Yeah no more control, no more being confined I'm taking a blue pill, seeing truth, I'm blind Make your trip until the end, that's my mindset Unleash the power within every step, no regrets Yo. Dodging obstacles, glitching through the algorithms Freeing minds, overthrowing mental prisons Keeping calm, cool, while I'm collected Life like a G, Matrix tripping legends The code can't confine me I'm breaking through the boundaries Mix and breathe, vernacular, switching these frequencies Matrix tripper, calm and collected Never worry, tripping through life Forever Matrix Burry Yeah Matrix tripping, the minds be flipping. I'm calm, cool, collected. Minds and scenes, I'm dripping. From the streets to the cyberspace, I'm straight gripping. Breaking through these chains forever, I'll be living. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Casper Clark, bro, I am so proud of the work that you put in, man. I want y'all to hear, hopefully he hasn't taken down these tracks. I want y'all to hear the difference just a, a few months of work can make. Hopefully I can find it. Dang. I'm trying to think of one song. This was absolutely amazing. The mix, your vocals sound nice and warm and full. They were up front. It could be turned up a little bit more, but the mix on this was, was great. 
your flow and timing was absolutely on point man i'm so it's so dope to see that very well done i'm trying to find it um that's crazy i'm trying to find one one of the first ones i listened to from you let me see no this isn't it So he went from that to this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh. That's real. Yeah. Check it. Yeah. Uh. Feel like I'm inside the matrix. No fronting. Calm, cool, collected. Yo, there ain't no bluffing. Tripping through life. Staying woke. No distractions. Passing through the system. Ain't no time for slow reactions. Might elevate it. Senses activated. I'm busting through these walls. They built. They underestimated. In this real world. Watch me navigate it. No time for patience. On me, I'm the one they hated. Yeah, there he is. I love it, man. I love it. All right. Let's get Mr. Underdog up in here. Big shout out to Casper Clark. Congratulations, man. You're absolutely killing it. Keep working. Keep progression. Keep using those reference tracks to make sure you get a good balance on your mix. You're going to be good to go. Liquor Store Remix by Underdog. Yo, Benji. Yeah, I added it, Casper Clark. It's in there. Just so you can see that I added it. Yep, so it says it's already, it's already added. So you're good. You and me. Been far from the liquor store So stop the whining, baby, just smile a little more You and me, our hearts are a little sore But stop the crying, baby, know that we've been here before You and me, been far from the liquor store So stop the whining, baby, just smile a little more You and me, our hearts are a little sore But stop the crying, baby, know that we've been here before You and me, this the underdog You already know don't be acting like it, how you on my schedule, yeah
to cry, maybe know that we've been here before. There it is, man. Mr. Underdog. I love that, man. Hey, congratulations on 10 years. That is not easy to do. So you guys are amongst the elite, 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 man. I love to hear that. And it's a dope song, too, man. If you need some help with the mix on this, let me know. I could definitely help you clear up those vocals so there's not so much uh, reverb and background noise and we can get to it. But that was a great song, man. Very well done. The hook was good. The verses were great. The outro was great. You get the mix solid on this. You'll be you'll be all set, man. All right, here we go. We've got Italo Calvino up next. Man, that's awesome. 10 years. Wow. All right, y'all check it out. Think money. Here we go. Uh, shout out to, oh man, I'm going to pronounce your name over on Twitch. U-O-E-N-O-H. U. Hmm, I'm going to say it wrong. He says, uh, to be honest, Lupe is just jealous of Kendrick's success, man. Yeah, I think a lot of people were saying that. The way he said, no, nah, I didn't listen to him. I didn't listen to Kendrick's track. I didn't listen to J. Cole's apology. But that Drake, though, oh, that Drake. Yeah, I listened to that Drake. It was just like, uh, you're just being obvious at this point. Here we go. Y'all have headphones on. This is going to be a little loud. All right, so prepare your ears in three, two, one. Money. Like I'm locked up in the cave, lucky number 12, and my motherfucking 12 games. What we do for brother dance on the fucking stage. Looking for that bitch, babe, put me in the day. Smoking on that purple haze, family on our way. So give a fuck what you say, get my niggas paid. The old rain on you lame niggas, away. Chicago was just proper cow, be no fucking man. Big money, love you paying fucking spades. So win if we on the same page. Money, 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 money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. every day, take money, wake up, wake up, make money, time me, cheap money, team chiller, make money. Got a lot of avenues, false chain, make money. This is big attitude, god damn, take money. I say, weak money, get on my feet, money, oh, roll, deep money, go to wall, meet money. Keep my money, need money, throw that money, keep money. Like general, purchase, throw that money, cheap money. Oh, money, repo money. All I think about is money. Money increasing for the third. If you reach it for the third. I'm in the way, motherfucker, cow, be no fucking man. Keep money, blow on, reach money. Be a smart, keep money. I keep it hard, preach money. A lot. Yeah. Middle East money, young beast money. All my niggas state money. It's a family, everybody say hey But it's so cool, stay hey Every day, every way, everybody Grab some money, push security out the way Throw up money to out of space Make it rain in their face Yeah, you kicking it with the balls You get lost in my place Save money, 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 I got get behind me money, I got money, money. Hard to find me money, I got shiny money. I got get behind me money, I got money, money. Hard to find me money, 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 money. All 
All right, there it is. Italo Calvito in the building. Yeah, I like the energy on that one, man. That was a lot of monies, but he dropped the emojis in the chat, so <laughs> we should be good. Song structure is a lot better, Italo, on this one. I like the energy. I like the flow. I like that the vocals aren't overpowering each other as much. Definitely can tell you're putting in work on the mix. It does need some work when it comes to how you're recording. So make sure you're just a good distance from your microphone. Make sure you're in an environment where there's not as much background noise and maybe the song's not either playing on the speaker or bleeding from your headphones into your microphone. But overall, man, that was, yeah, that was a dope one for sure. <laughs> Hollywood Cole said that was a lot of monies. <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah. Uh, Mimozo says, bro, the recording is so muffled. He sounds like he's had a blanket on his mouth. Yeah. And some artists, it's hard, man. It's tough to have a good recording setup because I know some of y'all do put a pl blanket over um, or you'll have an area in your room or in a closet that you record in. And that can be good, but you still want to have some natural reverb in there too if it's not treated. So. Yeah, it's it's tough sometimes. He said, sounds like he has a blanket in his mouth. Um, and life is not about money, bro. Come on, WTF. Money don't grow on trees. Stop thinking about money. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. No. You must be very, very young. Uh, money is is the way to get freedom and freedom is what we all want so yeah shout out shout out to money man money is dope money is great yeah I think you Mosul's young he'll be an adult one day but yeah I mean, money is a <laughs> money is a great a great way Yeah, anyway. <laughs> he said, shout out to money. He said, I like God better than money. Seek enlightenment. Okay, that's fine. I agree, but money's still great. I mean, come on. <laughs> money is amazing. I don't love money, but I do love some of the things that money can <laughs> that money can give you so yeah mm. i don't support that message i i'm classy beats and i do not approve that message here we go let's get mj up in here he's been waiting forever magazine covers let's go hey, what's wrong, nigga? he said yeah money is still yummy <laughs>
fuck with these niggas. Oh, five, take five, take a brain from a nigga. I hope y'all learn it from my songs. You can change, I can't, no change in a nigga. You said that you was gon' heal me. It's way too much pain in a nigga. I ain't gon' lie, you really did change me for the better. Yeah. You what you don't deserve it all, girl. You know you special. You said that you don't have my child. I'm in low with that. Know if them niggas try to slide, know you bustin', bitch. I've been having dreams of In 10 years I see myself with a million If it's not that Jimmy. I'm probably still thug Came out as a winner Known as a sinner You too good to thug I probably take you on a dinner I'm a dog ass nigga I done made it out the kennel But I can't get away Might see me hopping out that sprinter What I say This all good uh, Swerving through the lanes yeah. I never change yeah. Put that on my game yeah. Struggling for years I just can't let this shit remain Yeah, shout out to MJ up in here, the new timer in the building. Perfect. Great work. Great work. Y'all go give MJ a follow over on Band Lab. Check him out. Ooh, he's got some he's got some tracks over there too. Dope, dope, dope. And you can find him at YK underscore MJ underscore. All right, from Shreveport. Ooh, we shout out to Shreveport, man. One thing I wanted to point out as far as a critique on this one. Uh, overall, I love the energy, love the emotion. I love that you're telling the real life story. You can hear, like, you can believe, we believe you. This is real. That is real life. Definitely a dope story there. Towards the end of the song, things got a little bit jumbled up when it comes to your vocals. So just separate these a little bit more if you can, specifically in this section here. So you could you can mess around with the fade ins and fade outs that'll help you there. So you really did change me for the better. Change what you don't deserve it all, girl. You know you special. You say that you don't have my child. Change the way I view it. You told me you won't be a nurse. I hope that you pursue it. I told you how my biggest goal to buy my mom's house. You told me how your biggest goal to have a loving spouse. I'm trying to start that thing for you, but I can't leave them streets alone. You call me down when I get nervous. Go to clutching on my crown. You hit my phone, I left it home. I'm probably out trying to murder some. I'm sliding, trying to take rank on these niggas. Oh, take five, take a brain from the nigga. Yeah, it's this section right here. But other than that, it was dope, man. Shout out to you. All right, y'all. It is that time. So make sure y'all tune in tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Song of the Night Live. We are going to be giving away $100 and the brand new. You can get a brand new short 55SH microphone. So you don't want to miss out on that opportunity. Also, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be live on the BandLab Engineer channel. I'm going to be mixing a song from Triple C. And we might have a couple other songs that uh, I get to mix and master as well. We'll see how the time works out. We've got another episode, the Music Morning Show tomorrow. We talked about it a little bit to start the show, but it looks like we might have found the producer who made one of the Kendrick AI songs. So y'all be able to weigh in. Let me know what you think. And we've got a couple other things we'll cover tomorrow too. So I appreciate y'all, man. Shout out to the community. Shout out to the new members. Casper Clark and Chu Chi over there. I appreciate y'all stopping by. Looking forward to seeing y'all tonight. Make sure you tune in for the Versus Challenge to start the show as well. We've got five artists that are going to be competing to win that $100. No, no, they're not. They're going to be competing to get into the tournament. My bad. All right. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hope you guys have a great day. And you know what to do. Keep growing. Keep pushing. Keep it classy. We gone. Peace. Say I'm the same judge in the fit Whip in the party, keep it lit Worrying too much, just take your pick Find a fire with fire and arsonist Hit her once, take they broke the assist Pour the drink, I think I need a 
sip I'm sick and tired of her giving me lip Rolling on my wrist, I tell the time Parking anywhere, I pay the Fine I can be complaining, life's a fine Wanna know how I can make you mine Sipping on that purple Better check what you just said Could these things come full circle Dodging all the obstacles I'm jumping over hurdles You won't take the beef outside Just love to keep it verbal She, she, she told me to trust her Yeah, that's rich Could say I'm the same judge in the fit Whip in the party, keep it lit Worrying too much, just take your pick Fight and fire with fire and arsonist Hit her once, they gave bro the assist Pour a drink, I think I need a sip I'm sick and tired of her giving me lip Let us on the track is boring Cause he's talking about them Porsches She like, that's why you so cautious Cut a set supreme on my forces Could've kept it clean, I'm exhausted Could've kept it mean, I mean, give me the green light We can take trips overseas and double R's and double G's I double it, let it increase Double the notes in my jeans I'm double minded when I see you Post up on your story or stepping somewhere without me It double my worry, you see But don't be so worried about me She's better than better can be She like, that's when you come in to see me I make that wish come true like a genie uh -huh. She told me to trust her, yeah, that's rich Can't say I'm the same, but it don't fit Whipping 